Welcome! Today we are doing a Home Depot build your own fishing rod one versus one versus one fishing challenge. So the way this is going to work is all of us, we got our shopping carts, we got our budgets. It's going to be a hundred dollars each of us to go into this Home Depot and pick out everything we need to build our own fishing rod. Then once we have our stuff, we're going to go back and actually build our fishing rods. And then finally, we're going to have a fishing tournament with them. And it's going to be the first person to catch a fish on a bottom bait, a moving bait, and a topwater lure. And the first person to do that will be crowned the champ. So guys, are you ready to start right, your ready. engines? Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> we actually got to behave ourselves in the store. We can't go in there acting like complete lunatics. All right, boys, we're going to take our time, try to build the best fishing rod that we can. And he said $100 budget. So we might be able to make a few rods today. All right. I think we're all taking different routes here. We first got a good idea of what I'm looking for, but let's go see if we can find it. Okay, I don't think the, the home improvement section is gonna be where we need to find our fishing materials, but we're looking for stuff like maybe like a PVC pipe. I was thinking maybe like a, a piece of scrap wood. I'm not really sure. We're just gonna have to kind of look around and see what we can find. Hey, watch out, watch oh. where you're going, dude. <laughs> Excuse watch me, watch. man. Dude, I almost crashed into the wall. <laughs> I don't really know what the boys have in mind, but we gotta think about how we're gonna like, one, make the rod, and then two, we're gonna have to find some way to actually like feed the line through. So we need to be able to make eyelets in some capacity. So we're looking for these little hook things for eyelets. I haven't, oh wait, look at that. That might be something we can play with. This is one of those like driveway stakes. If I can get those little hooks like kind of in here, we can turn that into a rod. All right, well, I don't see a price. So I guess this is free. All right, boys. So we need to find something that resembles a rod. And this is the first thing I've seen. So the one thing today, we need a little bit of tip action. You know what I mean? We got the backbone action. Like this broomstick, man, could definitely do the trick. But it's too crazy, man. We need something a little more flexible. Ooh, okay. Okay, now we're talking. I don't know if I like this or not. It's kind of short. I mean, that's long, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be what we need. Let's keep on moving. <laughs> filming, filming a little YouTube video. We were on a company and we would like to have one done like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right there. See, that's what we're looking for, something like that. It's gotta be small enough to actually go into this. And I'm also gonna get a backup one just in case, but see, something like that is honestly perfect. All right, guys. That these we're getting close. Can you do something like that for roofing? Oh, uh, I don't do any any stuff for anybody else, well, unfortunately. You YouTube video you get going on. Like we make fishing videos. We're making. Oh, wow. uh, we're building our own fishing rods today. Oh, so if really? you have any suggestions no. for uh, for rod ideas, we're, oh, we're all ears. Duct tape. Duct oh, tape. Duct tape. Duct Always duct use duct tape. WD forty. Duct tape. Duct tape really works. It really bleeds. You think I make a whole rod out of duct tape? Look at NASCAR. NASCAR? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you ain't wrong. I mean, you're going 200 miles an hour, it sticks. Yeah, you're, that's a fair point. I think you could. I can think of the fish you're talking the one? You gotta get one. Yes, I got one. All right, All right, looks like we need to find some duct tape. I think that's gonna be the key to our victory, according to our NASCAR fans back here. Sorry, I'm not in the uh, roofing video business, but if you guys see the video, I appreciate the duct tape advice. All right, boys, what do we got? Look at, look at this. Okay, I think we might be on to something here. See, that's a little too flimsy. We will end up snapping that. Okay, we got to size up. See, that could still work. I feel like if I hook a fish on that, it's definitely gonna snap. We need something a little bigger. This is a good, okay, that's slightly bigger, but look at this one. We need to find the plumbing section. I'm feeling like PVC. Oh, what is this? I'm looking for like anything that's like long, long, hard, circular. Yeah, I haven't seen the boys since we came into the store. I wonder what, the, oh, there, there's Connor. What's going on over here? What do you got in your cart there, man? I haven't found anything, dude. I haven't found anything so far. Yet. I've got some hooks. I actually ended up finding these small ones, but I'm not going to tell Fletcher where that Ooh, is. Okay. Fletcher's got to find that on his own. <laughs> okay. Connor, you might have missed uh -oh. something over here, man. Fletcher is, uh, Fletcher's finding something over there. I mean, if I'm going for like flipping stick, that could work. That could work. Okay. Ooh. Look, let's compare them. This one just got a little bit too much action, okay? That thing's going to end up snapping. This one right here, look at that. We got a little bit of backbone still, but it's still got a lot of tip here. I think this might be a go, boys. And I will say we got a $100 budget, so it might be safe to grab a couple of these, man. What do you guys think? So we're going to get two of these old green ones and get one of these thicker ones. Uh -oh. Looks like I found somebody else over here. What's up, dude? Oh, 
we've made it to the promised land, guys. This is the good stuff. This is what we're looking for. We got PVC. I'm just trying to like, which one's gonna be like the most like a medium heavy? I mean, this one feels pretty solid. It's got a lot of like flimsiness because it's super long, but I feel like we cut this thing down, give it a little bit of a backbone. This might be what we need here. We're gonna throw this one in the cart. I don't really know how to. What you finding? Oh man, I, I got the money stick. Look at what I found over there. Uh oh. Oh dude, that's nasty. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you getting me oh, one. Yeah, did, did you give me this? Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate it, bro. Put this in here, that'll work. Okay. Maybe a piece of copper piping? Ooh. Oh. Noah has a good strategy here. I like it. But let's let's see if we can find like a longer dowel. They don't have anything down there, so let's come back this way and see if we can find something. I like his strategy though. The wood does have a little bit more bend to it. Tyler. Tyler. I mean, my man, if there's anything in here that feels like a medium heavy that I could whip it with, it's this copper pipe. I'm just, what I'm worried about is actually be able to cut this thing and actually apply some kind of like eyelet to it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to screw into this thing effectively or not. We're gonna, oh. All right, boys, let's get on to the next thing. We got four, two of the thicker pieces, two of the thin pieces, just in case they break. Plus, we got to kind of find like a terminal for this to go in. By terminal, I mean like whether it's a PVC pipe or something that we can put this in. That's less flimsy at the bottom of it. Therefore, I can put a reel on it and hold on to it and keep this as more like the tip. That's going to be a little more bendy. Let's see what else they got down here. I don't even need to cut it. <laughs> there we go. We got, we got a cut piece already. Let's just go with that one. Pays to be vigilant, I guess. Heavy it's it's heavy, but if we could add something to it to, to make it a little flimsier on the end, like like add a tip. But I'm not gonna lie, we're looking pretty good. We've got those, we've got this. I think we need some duct tape. Oh, no, no, it did take one. All right, that's fair. We'll, we'll let that one slide. Oh boy, what do we got here? That's like plumbing pipe. I need some like regular PVC. So this is metal. I don't know, could we do something with this? So this is the idea, to get the wood and put it in some sort, like I said, a terminal, quote unquote, that I can put this in. Therefore, we got rod tip, but we still have backbone. You see what I'm saying? I just think the metal might be a little too much. So let's go look at the PVC. So, I'm just trying to brainstorm here. I don't think that's gonna work. I mean, just sometimes you just gotta shove it in there, man. That's all I know. I think PVC is still gonna be the move, guys. After a little bit of testing there, I don't think the copper piping is gonna work its magic, unfortunately. Maybe if we had the right tools, then we'd be good, but I don't think I have anything suitable to cut that, actually. So we're just gonna keep on sliding away through these aisles. See, now I'm just like, I'm shopping for my house out here, like thinking about what I need. I'm gonna have some money left over in the budget, so we might pick up some Milwaukee tools. We'll have to see. Uh oh. Zip ties. Should we get some zip ties? I don't know what these could be useful for, but I feel like, you know, you can't go wrong with a few zip ties. I mean, something goes wrong, always need something. Oh, dude, what you got over there? <laughs> this is exactly what I've been looking for. Okay, maybe his rod isn't too long. This is, this PVC is ridiculous. Ew, what is that, dude? I do not want that piece. I had the vision that they would sell PVC a little smaller. Let's figure out what size we need. So let's get one. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's not happening. Get back it up. You gonna turn this way. Thought I was gonna come in here and just be like Bob the Builder, but it doesn't seem like that's happening. I'm struggling, I will say. We're gonna get some duct tape. We also need to get some stuff for eyelets. What do you think about that for eyelets? We got some like little plastic pieces. We'll probably get like some screws and just screw these suckers in. That's looking like a good deal. I think I might go with this, honestly. Connor seemed like he had something going on. We didn't see exactly what he had. This is looking like a great option. These are just cable clamps. We're gonna get this piece down. Let's see what we got. Dude, that is disgusting. What in the world? This is the piece I didn't want to grab. I have no idea what I just put my hand in. <laughs> Fletcher. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have what? a napkin, bro? What? <laughs> what? I put my hand in some nasty shit. <laughs> Go ahead and add these to the basket. Yeah, we got a little PVC. You and Noah seem like y'all got something interesting going on. Can't tell Fletcher the strategy here. Oh, look at this. Hey, <laughs> Bro, listen, I grabbed this PVC, dude, and it had the nastiest. Oh, did it? <laughs> I don't know what no, was on it, bro. Back. I was about to take all this stuff and get out of here. Listen, screw that piece. That's just telling me I don't need that. We need to find some screws for those cable clamps. Wait, so are you going to get the big nuts to go with the long rod? Um, 
Big nuts. All right, boys, let's see what we're working with. So this PVC right here, it looks like it's just big enough to fit this in here, what we need. About yay far. We have a little bit out, so we got tip there. But st we still have a solid base with a little bit of movement too. See how I can move the PVC? You know, this should do the trick, so we're going to get this puppy. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be a little bit of process there. Probably want screws that go all the way through my fishing rod. Like if we can find ones long enough. That looks like it's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Okay, we'll have two points of contact that should hold pretty good all the way through. So we have some pan head Phillips head screws. We got our cable clamps. We got our PVC. Now we just need some stuff to actually customize this thing and attach a reel with. So I think we're gonna need some tape. See, what's going on right here? Guys, apparently I have no idea what I'm doing, so don't follow my lead if you're trying to make a DUI rod. Oh boys, what do we got down here? Look at this. Hold on, we might have an idea for a backup rod. Oh, dude. Let's see, let's see what we got. So we got the PVC. Let's, let's try this out. Oh, bro, it's gonna fit perfect. Look at this. Okay, got a little mock crush action. How to get the red out. So this is pretty flimsy. That's the only thing that scares me of this because at the end of the day, we do want some backbone. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we can do something with this though. How much is this? Let's see, five bucks or $3. I feel like we can't go wrong with it, right? We might as well get one and see what we can do with it. Oh my God. <laughs> we hit in the reverse. Wait a minute. Hold on boys, we might've just found something else. What do we got here? Okay, this thing is just gonna be the death of me, I swear. Look at this though. I mean, there's a lot of options for tape. We have some poster tape right here. I might get a few things because we have a hundred dollar budget and I might as well play with my options, but we have to get duct tape <laughs> because those people that stopped us. Duct tape. The necessary tool to, to make all our dreams come happen today. So let's go ahead and find where that is. I mean, it's gotta be somewhere obvious. Oh boys. Now let me, let me tell you all the vision with this. Obviously this is just super small, but oh yeah. Here we go. So think about this, a wood rod all the way down. This can be just like a grip. You know what I mean? On a fishing pole, it's gotta be a little comfortable. This material right here is pretty comfortable. So if we put this inside of this, and then we put this on the end to where it still allows it to have some backbone. I don't know, man, that might be a good idea. Look at that. We got the comfortable grip. We got the red on there. Gotta add a little bling bling action, you know? And then we snip it about right here. So then we got a lot, look at that. Look at the tip that we got. We still got backbone because of the wood piece. This is a money find right here. I think this is, this is gonna be perfect. We're actually gonna grab two of these. Let's see how much they are. Oh, they're only a dollar, bro. Listen, this hundred dollar budget, we ain't even gonna hit half of it. We're gonna have dang five rods. Excuse me. Where would the uh, the duct tape be? Uh, it says uh, aisle 37. Aisle 37. Okay, I'll walk down and find it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We need that. Let's go ask somebody where the duct tape is. That should do. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what the duct tape is? Well, regular duct tape, electrical duct tape, or just tape in general? Just tape in general, regular duct tape is, sounds okay, good. Okay, so that'll be in our paint department, aisle 13. Aisle 13? Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you so much. Welcome. We're struggling, this is one of those days. Nothing is gonna go smooth. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That is perfect. Whatever that is, we're using it. All right, that's some legitimate duct tape there. All right, 10 bucks, got the duct tape. I think I might switch the strategy. So we're staying with the uh, the hook idea. We're sticking with the uh, fiberglass driveway thing, but then we're gonna get two pieces of wood and put it around it. And I'll explain why in a second, but it could make sense once I start getting it together. So now the important process is figuring out eyelids. We gotta, we gotta, okay. How are we gonna get out of here? Hit it in reverse. We gotta figure out something that we can feed the line. Oh my gosh. We can feed the line through. And Connor stopped by. He stole it back out of my car. We gotta go find the piece to put the line through the rod. So that's our next objective. All right. So the wood strategy, I like it. But the only problem is it's flimsy. So if we take this and put pieces of wood on the outside, I'm gonna duct tape it. And then I can put those little screws in there. But we gotta figure out how we can actually do that. We don't want too much 
See, that's too stiff. I got a thing here. Look at this, boys. This is exactly what Connor found that he came by my cart with. Probably need to grab a lot of them. I don't know how much they are. I had to say they're like a dollar a pop, so we should be good. We're gonna grab four packs of these smaller ones so we can pretty much screw that right into the rod and still have a clean eyelid that I don't think afraid of the line. You know, that metal is pretty rounded there. We're gonna grab four packs of those. There's also some bigger ones here. We might need to grab, yeah, let's grab two packs of these as well. So we got some bigger ones, then we got some smaller little stainless ones right there. This is gonna be perfect for our eyelids. Tell me what you need. Do you um, know where duct tape's at? Or uh, even all electrical the tapes tape? in the store are an aisle 13. Aisle 13, perfect, thank you. I do need a saw though to actually cut this pipe, so we're gonna have to get, have to get a I mean, saw. Right there behind you. Is there a saw? Yeah. That one's probably out of the budget. I'm thinking like, you know, just like a simple hand saw, you know? Oh, what are you doing over? Should we joust? Should we <laughs> joust? <laughs> All right, no. shopping cart <laughs> no, joust. Definitely not. <laughs> shopping cart joust, no, come on. Come no, on. we're not, we're not, not, not today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I might have figured it out. So this one has a little bit of tip on there. Give us that flick. So we're gonna use this as the backbone, and then this is going to extend out from the top and give us a little bit of tip so we can sling that bait out there. But also, maybe we'll just get, we'll get two of these. All right, we gotta get back on track. Noah's distracting me from focusing my brain on victory. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to aisle 13 where the duct tape is supposed to be at. She didn't seem like super confident that she knew where it was. She took a while to think about that. So let's go ahead and go down aisle 13 and see if what we find. Guys, you just gotta believe in me. I am a professional. We're gonna get one of each. We're just gonna see what happens. You gotta keep in mind here, guys, this is Fletcher's budget. We gotta make sure we maximize, maximize the opportunity here. That red guy back in there. I think we're rocking and rolling. Turns out she knew what she was looking for. We got lots of options here. And I feel like we need to like make it a little colorful. We got red tape. We got you know, your classic gray duct tape. We got painter's tape. I'm feeling good, guys. No worries here. We're gonna take a little stroll down this aisle though, make sure there's nothing else we might need. I don't really think there is. We got the duct tape. We got the eyes. I think that's about it. Maybe we should go check in on the other guys. So I think red duct tape is going to be the move. Add a little bit of color to our combo. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And then I think we should probably be good to go. We're going to look around a little bit more just to see what we got going on. But I think a saw and maybe a screwdriver, that should be everything that we need. All right, boys. Now we need some tape, electrical tape and duct tape. We're going to get a mixture here. It's not the easiest thing. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I was like trying to find the most efficient way, but. You mind if I ask you a quick question? Yeah, of course. Okay. Regular tools. Looking like the aisle. Picking up javelin in your, in your years? <laughs> so you said javelins? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, jousting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. We're filming a fishing video. We're making homemade fishing rods. Called a bamboo pole. A bamboo pole. Okay, yeah. That I means... grew up with it. Okay. Do y'all sell bamboo poles? I don't. Okay. I don't even know if they do anymore. <laughs> yeah. are, are you all uh, trying to? Are you all filming something for? Uh, yeah. So we go to SCAD down in Savannah. Yes. And uh, I go to school. It's art school. Oh. Go for uh, film. Yes, sir. So yeah, we're just yeah, filming yeah. a project for one of our classes. Oh, we're building fishing rods. Oh, okay. That's cool. You're building a fishing rod. Yeah. Okay. You have any suggestions? Well, I, to be honest with you, my son and his friend just had a bamboo pole and I caught <laughs> perch and I caught snapper blues and right off my dock. Okay. Cool. You well, know? we'll keep that in mind. We're trying to make a, a modern bamboo pole with our <laughs> with our PV, PVC. So we're now just looking for a little hand saw to cut this bad boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Find you. Yeah. Oh, right there. Perfect. Thanks, okay. guys. I know this is crazy. Yeah. Okay. And a little bit thinner than this one. Uh-huh. It's going to be thinner with like, I don't know, maybe this one or even a little bit smaller. They just put a piece of string on it. Okay. Seriously tied it on there with the hook yep. and it just threw it out. So what I was gonna do is I was actually gonna get where I can put this, cause I wanted it to have a little bit of backbone, right? I didn't want it to be too flimsy. Here we go. That's what we needed. Perfect. That should do everything we need to cut that PVC. I think we're in business here. So I think all of this combined should definitely be under a hundred bucks. This is probably the most expensive thing. I think this was like $18 or something along the lines of that. Oh, only 10. Look at that. So we are in shape. So what does your son use? You know, you're telling he was tying it, was he uh -huh. tying it onto something like this? Or? Yes, uh-huh, yep, that's all he's doing. They were actually just getting branches out of the, um, 
really? the long branches. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what they use in these. Interesting. Yeah, they would catch cool. a fish for a while like that. We'll have to but, try it out. Um, yeah. Hey, I hope it goes well. All right, brother. I appreciate you. You have a good day. Just a school project, you know. What is that? What aisle did that guy say? I think he said 13. I'm not sure what Fletcher's got going on here, but he's got a saw on there. So, uh, Dude, these, what, are, what are you going to make with these little flimsy like, guys? I can't, I can't tell you, you the strategy. Fishing? What I do know is that when Fletcher's not looking, I'm taking this saw and I'm cutting his rod <laughs> and I'm cutting Noah's rod in half. And I'm winning this challenge. <laughs> I mean, I might just cut your head off, but I mean, we'll, we'll see where you go after that. I think I have the strategy down. I, I just got to pray it works. I'm very minimal here. I'm, see, I'm trying to save Fletcher's budget, you know, be a nice guy, but still win this challenge. And I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Do you get a bunch of sizes? Uh, Kind of. So this is actually not one rod. You'll see in a little bit here. Okay. The magic hasn't happened yet. You just got to trust me. It's looking good though. You interviewed Noah yet? Where's he at? Um, he's doing some shady stuff somewhere. Yeah, I know he's that. probably he's probably slithering around. I mean, he's always causing problems. So I gotta get one more thing, and I'll meet you guys back over here. Got to do a little swap here. I think I've got a good idea. I'm actually stealing this from Noah, but he said he was looking for electrical tape, which you get a little bit better grip, and that's not what I have. But I do know where that is. So I'm gonna go get some. Before we head out of here, I had one more thing in mind. We came across these doll rods like very early on, and I kind of want to go back over here and see if one of them fits well in the back of this that I could actually cut down and use to make some backbone in my rod itself. If we have anything in here that'll fit into this pipe pretty well. All right, guys, we're doing a little swap. Switching this out for this. I think we can work with that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't wanna like cast and just sling it out the end of the tube because it's not like in there like super snug. Like it's in there good enough, but we might have to like shove a piece of tape or something down in there to actually get it in there good. But I'm kind of liking the idea of that. We'll, we'll throw that in the box. If it doesn't work out when we actually put all this together, then that's fine. It's the thought that counts. All right, man, you got what you need? I got what I need. All right, let's find Noah. He's got to be done by now. Noah's doing something devious somewhere. He's, he's making a plan to go against us, but we're not going to let it happen today. Dude, that's money. Some, like, thick electrical tape. How are you? Good morning. All right, boys, we might be good. Thick electrical tape right there, that should be money. Usually when you get electrical tape, you know it's pretty thin, but this should be good. Not only can we tape everything on the rod, I still got some Gorilla tape for that. But we can actually make like a whole pattern like you would tape a baseball bat. Hey, What's up, dude? what you got going on back here, man? Where you going, dude? You got what you need. I think we're we're ready to roll. I need one more thing. One more thing. All right. So since since we have a hundred dollar budget, you know, I took the minimal the minimalist approach. But since I have some some left over, I think I'm gonna go get me some Milwaukee tools since Fletcher's paying, <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and I'm gonna head home and work on some All stuff. All right. What, what you getting, man? I get the uh, oh, what is that new tool they came out with? The mini chainsaw. That thing is cool. Don't need it for this, but. It'd be awesome. Here we go, boys. We got the PVC cutters. We don't need no saw or nothing, man. This is this is clean, easy cut. We need precise, preciseness. All right, now let's find the boys. We all done. All right. All right. So you got the cable clamps. Yeah, we got the cable clamps. That might be better. I know. I was trying to get creative, man. Did y'all go with the same? I went eyelids? with the same eyelids. As Connor. I just hope. I hope they work. I think they will. They should. They should do the they trick. They should work. Hopefully, they don't crack your wood over there. Uh, well, that's why I got the housings. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Off to get the dub, boys. Look at them. Connor's already struggling. He's dropping all his stuff. <laughs> so look, Noah dropped that, so we're not gonna tell him and just don't give it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Noah? Good to see you, dude. What's, what's up, going dude? on? Hey. Uh, you better not break, Fletch, because you only got enough for one rod. Dude, I, all I need is one rod. I mean, I just you're, got make, you're making multiple? Just in case. I mean, like, I might just slap one together for a backup, you know? <laughs> yeah. You never know what's gonna happen. We have made it to the pond, guys, and we're gonna start rigging up our rods. The bugs are terrible. Yeah, I think really everybody, everybody's <laughs> getting chewed up, so we're gonna hop right into this. So without further ado, boys, let's start making All some right. rods. All right, I have no game plan, by the way. I just bought a bunch of pieces <laughs> yeah. that I'm just gonna throw together. <laughs> And I think I'm ready. I actually have like a pretty thought out idea. So I'm I'm 6'2". I need a rod that is about my height. That looks about right. We're gonna cut right here with our big old saw. This looked much better <laughs> when I was at Home Depot. Now it's not it's not looking as good, but we'll see what we can do with it. Are you sure you don't want my PVC cut? No, dude. This saw is gonna be great. I just gotta get started. It might not be the cleanest cut, but it's gonna get the job done. I mean, at least I have a vision for what I want. I don't really know what y'all have going on here. Listen, I don't, I don't even know if 
Connor's going to be able easy. to make a rod. <laughs> hey, this is oh, I'm, I'm making chunks. Look at that. Hey, hey, you already see the rod tip, dude? Look at that. Got some backbone action. Mm. Y'all weren't mind about these bugs, dude. <laughs> they're pretty terrible. Yeah, they're pretty bad, bro. Yeah, I'm getting ruined. I'm trying to really think. Oh, no, that is it, dude. You Nope, it's working. You guys are actually in trouble once oh, I get this thing together. Oh, you think so? Absolutely, dude. Dude, I'm about to go crazy with these bugs. Yeah, <laughs> they're so insane. bad. Oh, there we go. See, we didn't even need this all for the whole thing. We just, just cut that thing in half, and then... <laughs> Dude, watch where you're going with that. I'm gonna give y'all free range to my scraps. So, we're gonna dive into this bag, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this tape right here and we're gonna shove it up in a ball and then shove it down this pipe. And we're gonna use that to kind of jam our piece of wood that we bought to create some backbone. I mean, <laughs> it sounded like a good idea. This is more for comfortability, you know? Is that like I mean? a, a grip? Is that what you were going for there? Yeah, it's like a grip. Boy. Dude, maybe if these gnats would help us build, we could get done much faster. <laughs> yeah. Dude, these gnats. Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> you gotta keep moving. Oh. <laughs> Turns out when the, the sun goes down in South Carolina, the, the gnats come out in the spring. Uh -huh. There we go. That's in there good. So we got our, our backbone in here now, and that's not gonna slide out the front, I don't think. Maybe a little bit more tape, one more ball of tape, I think should be good. That's perfect, dude. Only need a little bit of tip on there. <laughs> you just taping it together like that? Dude, just wait until you see what comes All out right. of this thing, I'm telling you. All right, I'm gonna trust your vision. I'm not seeing it, I'm not gonna lie. Can I borrow your saw? My saw? Yeah, you can borrow my saw. <laughs> <laughs> I give you permission. What? Oh my gosh. And now we're gonna need some grip here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our tape. We're gonna build a nice foundation for our handle. I don't need your saw fletch. You don't need it? I got this. Beaut. Look at this. We're coming together. That's a clean Oh, cup. okay. That's a clean Oh, cup, dang, Bubba. this thing is nice. Wait, 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 here, fix your end. Where's your messy end? Here, here, here. Just to test it out. I got a few extra inches. <laughs> Do you need them? <laughs> Watch how easy, man. <laughs> Not that. Maybe it ain't that easy. Okay, you got a softer piece of tube over there. Okay, what do you guys think about the grip action, man? The grip action? I like it. I like what it. Think about the grip Honestly, action. it looks good. Okay. I, I like what you got going on with that. Now, we need some PVC, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Try not to knock myself out. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm making my grip out of some ooh, duct tape. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Wow. That thicker PVC is hard to cut. We're building a sturdy handle here. We got our backbone, we got our PVC, we got a nice grip coming along. Honestly, this might just replace my daily by the time we're done with this. Dude, this is about to be in chain. I think I messed up. <laughs> Wait, why? Because how am I gonna screw my eyelids into a PVC pipe? That's true. Gotta get long enough screws, dude. To go all the way through. That's why I got a backup. See? Listen, man, the, the mock crush got nothing. I actually don't think I can fit this in there, though. I used the wrong one. Oh, no. This oh. is the, I think this is the idea. I like the, I like the red. Are you just going with this? Are you just... Hold on, man. We got to scrap what I started here. <laughs> this is why I knew I had to buy some extra supplies. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna get, this is gonna get tiring. <laughs> with this thing. But I think we got the backbone. We're a good hook set. I'm cranking. I'm liking what we're singing here. Dude, look, this thing's looking like a real rod. Look, I got I got the butt end on it. Looking looking absolutely solid. Now we just gotta work on the grip. Y'all's handles aren't gonna have nearly as much swag as mine. So I got multi-colors. Oh, look at that. Look at that, dude. We got white tape. Hey, that looks tape. Gee, good. that's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's coming together. You're quite poking me with your rod, dude. <laughs> dude, that, these bugs are making me anxious, man. Oh, dude, look at that. Check out that handle. We got the candy cane. Okay. Yeah, you like that? Got our backbone. What else are we gonna need to do here? All right, it's time to start making our eyelets here. I got a bunch of different size pieces here so we could kind of taper them down and all the way down to the tip. Yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> These bugs. Dude, they're so bad, bro. <laughs> this is not a good idea. So we're going with our biggest eyelet first. I think it's these right here. Yep, that's correct. And we're gonna go down to our screws here. And we're gonna drill the sucker right into this PVC. Turns out PVC is kind of hard to screw into. That's not what we wanted. 
There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that little island we got going on. All right, check that out. Look at that. It's looking like a real fishing rod so far. See that, Noah? Mm -hmm. Look at what's going on. Oh, dude, on. that looks pretty soft. All right. Yeah, this is have to, dude. I'm yeah. Dying. <laughs> this is this is miserable. This is supposed to be fun, but <laughs> the bugs are so bad. All right, they can't get me up here, dude. I feel like I put this islet too low. I was wondering why this was hard to drill into. Oh. I forgot that there's a freaking piece of wood in this. Bro, I don't know, man. I'm forget I'm really feeling this thing. Golly. It's really testing my patience here. <laughs> Pro tip. Bro, stop it. Please. Don't build rods out in that territory. Connor just help standing up on this help. I don't know, bugs. dude. I don't think anything's helping. I've moved positions like 30 times thinking I'd get away from the bugs, but so far. Oh, that's what that's I so needed, good. a hammer, dude. Perfect. I just need a Sharpie to name my rod. That's the only thing I'm missing. I don't really think I would have this much trouble trying to drill a screw into a piece of PVC. Hey, hold on, man. I need my hammer back, dude. We're, gonna, we're stealing it for a second, just to... Oh, it is coming together, boys. So, Flusher, you said Look you're matching your height with the rod? You're gonna have a short rod if you're matching height. I think I'm gonna be able to screw into the red material. That's What's my thought process on that? I mean, my thought process yeah. is a drill would be able to get through a piece of PVC pretty easily. Apparently that's not the case. Come on. There we go. Oh, dude, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. There we go. Watch out for my screws on the, the back side of my rod here. May or may not be a weapon. Like I wasn't getting bit at all to the second I decided to start building the rod. You see what I did there? I just got it started. Oh my goodness, man. What do you guys look at it? And do they make like PVC screws? It's like, is that a thing? I just used Fletcher's screws that he bought. No, you can't use my <laughs> screws, dude. Whose screwdriver is that, Fletch? No, 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 I didn't use your screws. I just, I used your screw to drill a hole. You know what I okay. mean? That shit, I didn't use your screw. That's fine. I feel like that's fair, right? If I used, if I actually used your screw, I feel like it was a little screwy, you know? What you guys think? The trick is to line up the eyelids because I, I feel like, honestly, they look pretty straight. So I think I'm gonna go one more here. Dude, look at that, completed rod. Oh, Whoa. you're done? Whoa, let me see this thing. Let All me... right, ladies and gentlemen, look at that thing right oh, there. Oh, that looks good. I'm not gonna try. Wow, that looks a lot better than I thought. You actually did like the hand, the grips and everything. Yeah. Hold on, I'm not done with it yet. Don't break it, Fledger. Oh, you oh. might need to tape that bottom piece. Yeah, down, I'm not, so. I, I gotta do a little more extra work on this thing. I like it. We're getting there though. It actually looks like a rock. I like what we're doing, man. And I like how we all kind of went our own routes with it. A little different. Yeah. Everyone, everyone had their own vision. Struggling due to the fact that I can't get these things screws in. They went in pretty oh, good. Shoot. I ended up getting them in the Dang, wood. Dang, that's not bad at yeah, all. Dude. Look at this okay. thing, bro. Okay. We're getting there. I'm on the struggle Where's bus your, over where, here. Let me see the tip action though, Connor. Is there it, there's not much tip action, I'm not gonna lie. It's not great. See, I was worried about putting that, that thin piece of wood at the top, so I had to put it next to the fiberglass. There's no backbone yeah, to that like, wood. So it was kind of my only option, really. Oh my God, dude. These gnats are so bad. People are gonna think we're some sissies for it, but it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not good. They're not the nice ones. They're the ones that bite. Not as They're doing fun. more than just biting. I gotta make sure the micro eyelids are gonna fit. There you go. I got I got one of them in already. There we go. Whew. All right, and I drilled it into the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is surprisingly going way too flawless for me, and I just think something stupid is gonna happen during the challenge. Like, this is just, Something's gonna fall apart. It should apart. not be that easy. I mean, God, I mean, yeah. Okay. I don't like this sticker, though. Dude, that actually looks pretty solid. Fire me up, dude. Let me see that thing, dude. Yo, check that out. I'm not gonna lie, Connor. Dude, it's got a little bit of flex to it. Like, I think I can beam <laughs> some baits out this there. This might be oh, the yeah. best one. I think it's pretty nice. <laughs> I like it. Now, you're definitely gonna be able to get the hook set, man. My only worry is, like, it getting tangled up here or this top eye, like, coming out. Woo! They're so bad. We got our holes drilled, finally. About time. Now we can put all the pieces in. Now that we finally got that done. That was a, a learning curve. It's just gonna be like 10 minutes of me scratching my legs. <laughs> Not too shabby, eh? Not bad. Okay. And I got a good bit of tip, dude. Like what happens when you jiggle a fishing rod? You got some tip action. Bro. 
I've just drilled my whole thing into the, I mean, it's just attached to the table at this point. I'm just accepting that for right now, and we're gonna deal with that it later. It might be better. <laughs> it probably would've eased all your problems if you drilled it in from the start. I know, I just left it there, because it just kept sliding on me. He goes, can you guys hold my rod? He <laughs> should've just drilled it straight drilled into it the off. table. Here we go, we got our eyelets go. on. Now just to detach my rod from the table. A little worried about the tip. <laughs> the All I'm saying is don't stand in front of my cash. You might get a screw in your forehead. <laughs> this has got... It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> so next things next, guys, we got to attach our reel to our rod. I got some zip ties. We're going to zip tie the reel seat. I would have more, way more patience to make this tape. I know, dude. I have no patience. Well, I got no patience. Yeah. Much, dude. I'm struggling. All right, my rod's complete. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get it away from the bugs. We're gonna put our $500 loose bait caster on our homemade rod. That only makes sense. I want you to feel it, man. You'll see what I'm saying. Oh, wait, what? How'd you do this? <laughs> is it not exactly like Which a fishing in it? rod? What is in it? I got oh. wood all the way up for the backbone. Let me feel it. All the way up to the top? No, 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 all the way to here. So pretty much the whole backbone of the rod is made out of wood. And then we got the tip, which is made out of this. That's why we get that flex. That's pretty good. Let me feel I'm it. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. I like it. It's really flimsy. It is. It, it is a little flimsy. That. That should grip though. <laughs> if you have this, you can kind of grip onto it. I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna be able to cast pretty flawlessly. I mean, mine looks pretty pretty, if you ask me. Oh, See, it's one around both sides. sides. Yeah, like with the same piece of tape, I would like alternate sides. The bait cast is just harder to do because it sits tighter. Yeah, that's why I, I ended up going spinning. I think I'm gonna have to get a spinning reel. I was really? gonna try to do the bait caster, <laughs> but we can get a spinning reel for you if we need to, Noah. I think I'm gonna do it. Dude, it just feels too good to not use a spinning or a bait caster. So I'm trying to line it with the eyelids, right? But if you hold it- I got mine on there with the, the zip tie. And then it just line slipped it out. Yeah, we go yeah. around at least a few times. Got it on. Just line it up where it feels nice, like right about there. Now we're gonna have to add some tape. It's sad because it went from being so pretty to just sloppily putting the tape on. <laughs> yeah. but I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. So I think I put my back eyelet too close to the thing. I was originally going with a bait caster, and now I'm going with a spinning reel because the bait caster is proving to be extremely difficult to get on there. And after, oh yeah, yeah, just tie that thing. There you, you go. Like, you know how they come when they're new? Yeah. Try to do it like that. If oh I, yeah, that is a good idea. If you can. Well guys, I think that might be it. We got all our eyelets in. We got our reel taped on here. We were gonna try to go with the bait caster, but that just was not working out for us. So our bottom eyelet's a little close to our reel, but I think it should be fine. If anything, we'll just have to move that up. But I think it's time to, to thread this line through here and get this thing rigged up. Dude, that was it. Connor, I got it, dude. Wow. That's pretty good. It kind of looks pretty official. Dude, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty, feel feel like pretty that's good, good? Now. Yeah, I feel like I got it. It definitely has a little wiggle room, but it's pretty solid. Don't go like jerking on it, but it's pretty Oh, yeah, there. that's on there. You can make a cast. <laughs> I guess we're gonna see. We have arrived, guys. Our rods are assembled. The bugs are hopefully gone, and it's time to jump into this. Before we actually start fishing, I wanna show y'all a side by side by side, and have y'all tell me down in the comments below which rod y'all think is the coolest, and which rod do you think is the most functional. First up, we got my candy cane, and this thing is made out of PVC. We got our wood backbone. It kind of weighs like a brick. It's uh, definitely the heaviest out of the bunch, but I got the most backbone. So hopefully y'all like this one. Connor? Look, this one actually looks pretty good from like here down, but all up, just don't look that way. It, <laughs> yeah. it, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and so right here, we got the bait caster. So the boys use the spinning, how to use the bait caster. Got the eyes all the way up, pretty flush. So my whole idea with this is when you have a bass rod, you have pretty much your backbone here, and then this is where you want to have your tip. So what I did is I ran some wood all the way up to here. So right here, you got your solid backbone, and then right here, you got your tip. So pretty much you can tell when I hook a fish is gonna bend like a fishing rod. So yeah, that's it. So let us know down in the comments below which one y'all think is the coolest looking and which one is the most functional. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it, boys. Let's do it. First person to catch a fish on a soft plastic, a moving bait, and a top water. Let's get into this. All right, they're going down there. I'm gonna go over here. I'm flipping, dude. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Dude, I'm just gonna have to hook shit very, oh, very oh lightly. My God, Come on. Are you on one? There's a giant. Let's get right down here, guys. We're gonna get into the business. Let them kind of work that corner while we work this one. Let's see what we got. I don't see any fish yet. Cast, fairly good. <laughs> we're, we're gonna see about sensitivity. Bro, there was like a five, six pounder that swam out and I just, the casting's not bad, like watch. 
it's pretty good i mean i'm throwing a light shaky head so with the rod action you know you got a little bit of movement so i can get pretty accurate with it i'm slightly impressed with this thing i can actually cast it i just got to go from the side because the eyelid is a little bit weird dude it feels like i'm holding a piece of concrete i'm not gonna lie it feels very odd there's no sensitivity but i can cast it though i just can't feel anything so i'm a little concerned that i'm gonna get a bite at night and feel it with this thing it's pretty sturdy material, but it's definitely not graphite by any means. So whether I actually feel something or not is definitely up in the air. All right, the tip works actually surprisingly well. It's just so heavy. Like it feels like I'm swinging a... Yeah, look at that. That's all we need right there. I like it. I'm trying to get like closer to this tree. I just have this overhang and I'm not feeling super confident with accuracy here. So, um, hold on. All right, we're wrapped around the screw. But guys, I'm honestly pretty impressed with this thing. Like castability, like accuracy, like everything. The only thing that I don't like is sensitivity. All right, step one, don't, don't, don't let it wrap around the screws that go out the outside. <laughs> Just right back around. Well, other than that, everything feels good. Like how it casts out the rod because we got that tip. So we got a little more, we can be pretty accurate with it. You know, just the flimsiness of the end of the rod just makes for a lot of accuracy. We're going to go over here and see if we can catch us a big and. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get close to that tree. <sighs> That's just not where I want it. I need it like 10 feet to the right. Yeah, they're really spooky, aren't they? Yeah. All the ones I've seen have just kind of, they know we're fishing for them type thing. It's kind of hard to see too. I, I got one coming up. He's got it. Oh, he hit it. He got it. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth, Connor. Oh, I got a bite. I got a bite. Oh, I barely felt it. Shucks, my drag stripped. Dang it. Okay, okay. Looks like we can indeed work this thing well enough to get some bites with this rod. Let's set that drag a little bit tighter. I thought I had it tight enough. That should do. Let's try to get this back in there. All right, me and Noah are both on a fish right now. Dude, this one, this one literally almost picked up my bait. I don't think he had it in his mouth. I got him. I no got way. him. I got him, dude. No, I swear to <laughs> Dang it! We're gonna go over here. Looks like the boys got one. I don't know who. I just heard yelling. <laughs> my reel's coming off though. Oh, oh my yes. gosh, no one landed one. <laughs> no one landed one. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. Beautiful presentation, dude. All oh, that's amazing. Between the casting, the hook set wasn't bad. I did hear the tape kind of come up ever so slightly, but man, <laughs> there we go. We're on board. There's another fish right here. Bro, let's go, dude. Heck yeah. Oh, dude, I, I cracked into him too, bro. This thing casts so good. Like, I'm just so impressed with it. There's another fish right there by Fletcher, so I'm gonna try to tie up real quick. Maybe we can catch him. So we need a moving bait now. I'm gonna save top water for last. Just like the, the king boss for last. I just need anyone but Noah to win this challenge, guys. <laughs> I don't like that he got out to the hot start. Now he just got the moving bait in the top water and he can cover some water. The bottom bait's gonna be the hardest part of this challenge, of this little tournament, just because the sensitivity and accuracy of all these rods is not the best in the world. So what we need to do is we need to go with a moving bait that has treble hooks. You know, like I said, I don't have a ton of backbone there. Either this little jerk bait or a swim bait, I think it'd be fire. I'm thinking a little jerk bait. I don't know. Maybe the mock shad just <sighs> guys. If you know, I've had so much luck on this puppy right there, and that, that just might have to be what we're gonna go with. I'm feeling it, man. Let's go over here. We're gonna go around this tree really quick, and we're gonna try this little bit of bank. I'm struggling, guys. It's not looking good for me. I, I had a fish like literally right in front of me, threw it at him, it was in his mouth, and, and he spit it out. It's so hard. I have no feeling on this rod. It literally feels like I'm holding a brick of concrete, so it makes it a little difficult, <laughs> but we're trying. Connor, we can't let Noah win this, so we got to try even harder. Did you see that other fish going by? All right, guys, watch this. This is the strategy right here. Noah finds the fish, and I'll catch the fish. Oh, 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 fast reading, fast reading, fast reading, fast reading. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I wish I had top water on right now. Oh, no, it's wrapped around my... <laughs> around my thing oh come on come on eat this thing like two or three bash just blew up right there on some bait oh dude dude you see that big one look at the big one hawking it down bro to the left oh no shot dude you see him right there look at this right here right here right here. 
Come on, baby. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. I don't think y'all realize how heavy this fishing rod is. <laughs> it's, it's like probably easily double the weight of both of their rods combined. Oh, God, I just missed one. Oh, no. Gosh, the hook set is so awkward with this thing. It weighs so much. I don't know what to, to even do when I get a bite. Where does she go? It's so hard with the glare on the water. Where'd she go, bro? I didn't see her. She knows right Dude, on. I saw I saw it right after you said that. Okay, I gotta change up. I gotta put on a, more of a creature bait. This is more of a trailer bait. Guys, we are going to switch up here. The fins on this bait have a little more action. So we are going to give this one a try. Which is right here. Oh my God, she's right under it. Get ready, boys, get ready. Oh my God, oh my God. Do you have one on bed? No, I don't have her on bed, but she's a nice one. She just put my swim bait in her mouth. What do you got tied on? Swim bait, uh, mock shad. Ooh, not, not a bad choice. Ah! Oh my God, Tyler, Tyler. There's two, there's two. They're gonna, they're gonna crazy. I got her, dude, I got her. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's one more, dude. There's one more. Oh no. God, no is getting carried away over here no way no it no it's on his last bait already oh my gosh we gotta step it up here oh there's no shot this wasn't the big one this was actually a fish that came up out of nowhere and it just fired him up oh my gosh this could not be going better for us boys we didn't really have too much of an idea with the rod we bought the supplies you know i didn't really have a vision clear in my head but it came out perfect and uh, now we just got to capitalize and get one more bite we win this challenge ah i just knew whoever got done with this first is gonna be such an advantage the bottom bait is gonna be a struggle all right boys we are on to our final fish which is top water and this is gonna be exciting we got our bottom bait done our moving bait done with the mock shad just fires them up we got this pretty fish i wish the big one would have ate it but i will take any fish Thank you, buddy. Bunch oh, of this rod's performing, dude, like pretty well. But I will say, I think the wood's cracking a little bit. I thought it was the zip tie. I think the wood inside is slightly cracking. Right. If you guys are enjoying the video, guys, make sure y'all drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. I know about 70% of you guys watching aren't subscribed and should be. So if you could do me a huge favor, just hit that subscribe button. It really does go a long way for me and the channel and I really appreciate it. Right, let's get back into this. We got some ground to make up. Noah's ahead two fish. He's got one to go you just got to get one on the top water let's give this spot a try i tried down there in the corner but i really have no feeling on this rod and i can't tell if i'm getting picked up or not i don't think i am because i feel like i would get some feedback on the line let's try this don't see any but that doesn't mean they're not there all right that's uh that's gonna be a difficult one to come back from oh no your pole broke oh, you gotta go film him man you gotta... well you better use some duct tape man that's all i can say oh that is terrible <sighs> all right to be fair though that was the part that i was least expecting to break the tip hold on let's reel it in Let, let's take a look at this thing it broke the biggest part of the rod but the tip is like half the size oh my gosh dude. that is um that's a tough break right there <laughs> how you gonna fish now what are you thinking you're gonna do i don't even know i might have to hand line i might wait what if i just tape it up okay we're gonna figure it out well, we're gonna put on the patroller by mock that's the plan the mock shag got it done so we got to try the patroller out those are my two favorite mock baits they're just money we're gonna tape this thing back together and get back in there i just i don't know if we have the tape here but if we do i'm back in this we're not giving up yet let's figure this out oh we have tape we can rock it we'll rock with that hold on hold on dude I, I gotta catch at least one fish. Oh, hello, mama. Oh, my my pole definitely broke. My wood definitely broke within the pole. All right, boys, we got on the patroller. Fletcher's fishing next to us now. No way, dude. Is he going right? Oh, oh my, no way oh. he's that interested. I swear, if she goes right for that. <laughs> oh, she is. <laughs> oh my God. Of course, of course. No They're shot. immediately interested. So my rod just went from about four foot to <laughs> Even less than four foot. 
I mean, I think though, if I can get this taped up enough to hold it, I could just be careful with it. And I think that we'll be able to make it happen. Noah's already up there though, so I, I gotta hurry up. <gasps> Fletcher! Go, oh, Fletcher, Fletcher, Fletcher. Fletcher, Fletcher, Fletcher. There's two. Oh, you, you <laughs> wiener, dude. Oh, hey, I she was I about do. to eat it, dude. She was about to eat it. They like that plopper, man. That thing is gonna get crushed soon. Yeah, we're getting we're getting back in business in about five seconds here. Yeah, that's money right there. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I think we would have had the dirty sweep. We almost had the dirty sweep right away. That would have been pretty crazy. I do want the boys to catch one though. Like I really I know, want, I just want to catch to one, man. That's what I'm saying. I want you guys. I mean, Connor is Connor out. I mean, if he can fix his rod, as long as he can he cast, open? he's in. Connor, are you done? I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Perfect. All right, boys. Everything is going according to plan. We didn't get that big one there, sadly. But we're going to go over in this corner. We might be able to get one of these guys to turn on this plopper. Unconventional? Yes. Is it going to work? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Let me, what'd you do over here, Connor, to fix your... <laughs> <laughs> We're just out here surviving at this point. Rolling up on paw number two. We got no time to waste here. All right, boys, time to put the boys to sleep. Time to put them to snooze town, right? Well, guys, there's no specific order that we have to catch a fish in. So I think I'm gonna cut this soft plastic off for now because it is just not happening. And we're gonna go back to that when we need to. So for the meantime, let's go ahead and switch gears to maybe top water. I'm thinking like a little plopper action might be the magic touch that we need for right this second. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna follow Fletcher's lead. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking the same this thing? This thing is impossible to feel anything, and I think the only way that I can guarantee a fish is if I can see the fish eat it. And that means <laughs> yeah. top water. <laughs> yeah. I've gotta feel the same exact thing. All right, we're in business. We got the mock patroller tied on here, guys. These things are super cool. You can find them in dicks, you can find them online. I definitely recommend checking these out because they are a great plop and bait, and we're about to show you just how good they are. Come on, first cast, baby. Ah, come on. Dang, man. I can't buy a bite. I can't buy one. I've had like four or five nibbles between this and saw plastics and it's just not going my way. It's, I don't know to tell you guys. I've, I've been winning challenges on Noah's channel. I won one on Tyler's channel. And for whatever reason, I can't catch one. I can't win anything on my channel. And I don't, I don't know why that's the case, but apparently I just suck or something like that. I don't know. You know, maybe some tips from you guys in the comments could help me out. That would, that could always be appreciated. Oh, we got one. Ah, I got him. I got him. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it finally paid off. You wouldn't believe that. I just caught that on this. Oh my gosh. Noah's got two, Connor's got one, and I'm just, I'm really struggling, guys. Dude, thank you. I'm so happy. Oh man, we've been we've been giving it our all and I couldn't get one and I finally got one on this. I just had to slow it down so much. It's just really hard. Look, he's barely hooked. Look at that. That's honestly insane. I'm shot after I broke it, I kind of lost all hope, but hey, we got it. On to the next bait. Thank you, buddy. I'm having to choke up on this thing so much because my arms are exhausted from casting this thing. <laughs> I wish you, I, there was a way to just show you how heavy this thing actually is. Probably should have weighed it. All right, so technically we have to catch one on a moving bait, top water, and then a bottom bait. This is technically, I guess it's a top water bait, but I'm gonna fish it as a moving bait. So I think we'll count it. This thing is probably gonna be pretty difficult to uh, fish with this, this setup here, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, right there at the bank. That was a massive blow up. Let's go, let's go. We're finally on the board, stay on. Yes, yes, let's go. I just could not get shut out in this challenge. Oh my gosh. There was way too much pressure riding on just a total failure of a, a fishing attempt from me. I just didn't want to get skunked, but it looks like we're on the board. We got our top water knocked out and we're gonna have to keep on moving on to some other baits. Let's get this sucker back in. Thank you for the bite, baby. Shoo! Let's keep on going. Okay, I have some assessing to do over here. We gotta figure out what is going on. Just straight up broke my eyelid here. That is not good. We don't, we don't want that. We got one of our pieces here. Spin this over, line it back up, get it back in. All right, we're in business. Let's just get a, a crankbait tied on here and let's keep it moving. Got our rod all fixed. It's time to get a crank. I think we're gonna go with the mock bouncer, a little square bill. Let's keep it rocking. These mock hooks are ultra sharp, so I'm feeling pretty trustworthy that we're gonna get a fish to eat this thing and stay on. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, Fletch, that's your money spot, dude. Get her done. Big in two. That one seems like it's big. Dude, it's a nice one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I definitely felt my, I snapped my rod on the flip. I felt the wood break. You let me win one, man. Beautiful fish, man. Can you let me just Listen, win Listen, you one? beat me today on my video and I beat <laughs> yeah. you on yours today. So fair enough. It's a fair square.